What else, besides your monthly program of infaceuticals, homeopathics, maybe flower essences, herbs, nutritional supplements, affirmations, visualizations, whatever we find specifically for you that's balancing your energy, making your system more coherent, and body, mind, and spirit to work together as one unit, as one quantum, as one team, as it's meant to, as it's de you're designed to, uh, what else can you do? There's, there's some things that we can look at in your field, in your environment, that can make a huge difference in how efficient and effective and rapidly and easily you can heal and reverse the, the fossil uh, chemistry and structural changes of, of uh, lack of health, of unwellness over, over the years. And so we, we look at things like the air quality. You can purify the air, you can add negative ions to the air. Did you know that if you're in a, in a building that has uh, metal pipes, metal, uh, tubes carrying the air, uh, air conditioning system, recycling the air, all that, that that metal removes electrons from the air and you wind up with positively charged air. Well, positively charged air is in nature is associated with, with situations where there's more disease, there's more, you know, the mind is, it doesn't work as well, there's, you know, people go nuts when there's uh, Santa Ana winds that bring the positive ions in, in the natural setting. In, in our man-made settings, we create these, these environments that are not conducive to optimum health. And so being aware of that, you can counter those effects with uh, like a negative ionizer. If there's chemicals, sick building syndrome, the chemicals from the building materials and other materials we bring into the building can, in these contained environments. It's more energy efficient if we enclose our house and seal it up. Ah, but it's more toxic too. So things like ozone generation to to oxidize those organic chemicals that are in the air that we're breathing. The negative ions will take the dust particles, the particulate matter out of the air and make it a, a healthier, actually an antioxidant air. Did you know that we breathe in more, in, in the average typical environment, we breathe in more moisture than we get through drinking and eating on a daily basis. There's an exchange of water and if that water vapor of the air is negatively charged, well that makes it more like the healthy water in our body, less like the sick water in our body. Uh, just like with water, water is very important. Our body uh, chemistry on a, on a conventional level, where we look at single molecules of water being H2O, uh, there's more molecules of water than anything else. In fact, it's over 99% of the molecules. So we're mostly water. Uh, on a, even on a, a weight basis, we're still mostly water. When we're alive, we're maybe 60%. We're probably born 90% water. And when we die, we're probably down to 50% water. So the hydration, you know, we know in the skin. If our skin is hydrated, we look youthful. When our skin is not hydrated, we start getting wrinkles and sagging and age spots, and we're not regenerating collagen as well, and the elastin is going down, all these things. And we can we can reverse that with something like phytoceramides, which is the natural sealant of the skin that holds, it actually creates coherence zones uh, between the, the skin cells that, that holds them together, seals the moisture in, so now the skin begins to rejuvenate more efficiently, gets more, holds its moisture better, uh, retains the collagen and makes more elastin, etc. And that's why we see you know, age spots reversing and all these kinds of be beneficial changes. Now that's, the ceramides are also not just in the skin, that's where we see the changes, so that's what you, know, you see promoted mostly. But for example, the, they are shown to uh, improve memory in, in the type of, specifically the type of uh, chemical damage that we see in conditions like Alzheimer's and glaucoma, where there's uh, certain neurotransmitters that are, that are excitatory that get uh, trapped at high levels inside the cell and become an excitotoxin, well, this is in the cell membrane, it helps uh, protect against that and actually helps to reverse the damage. So uh, very helpful for internal, for every cell has its own skin. In other words, it's a fractal. Part of our model is we understand the universe is fractal. Like we need those negative ions, we need the electrons. We live on a fractal electron. The earth is negatively charged with respect to the sun, which is positively charged. And the Earth is like an electron going around the nucleus of the, our 
solar system atom with the nucleus being the sun.